is up guys this is your boy ed from elite to beach you already know and today we're going to be doing a special deck profile because um we we already know fluffle boy you know the sponsor alex you know no face cam girl whatever you guys want to call him uh we already know my boy uh he let me borrow a nice nice new deck for me because i have never played this deck before which is actually going to be phantom knights i'm super excited about playing this deck uh it's been a lot of fun to get to play it and learn how to play with it um personally it's not the deck that i wouldn't play competitively but it is a deck that I'm definitely picking up to be able to play, you know, just casually and for fun against my friends or whatever. It goes pretty fucking hard. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is really raw. So if you guys haven't considered maybe picking up this deck and playing it, it is a lot of fun. It is super competitive. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys a small little combo at the end of the video. But we're going to go through the main deck and the extra deck. And then we'll do a little combo for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. Before we continue with this video, go ahead and take a break real quick to check out my boy apollo dueling dojo's work i think he has some of the nicest custom mats that i've seen out in a while he makes some crazy nice rubber mats and he of course has some amazing glitter field centers these are what i call the glitter field centers uh i've actually been rocking my alistair mat and i've been rocking my alistair field centers for a minute at my locals and people just so happen to think that i might be playing alistair that day or they just ask me hey man do you like Alistair? Yes, I do. So if you guys have a favorite, favorite archetype out of all of them, make sure you guys go check it out from Apollo's Dueling Dojo and pick it up. He has all the nicest mats and all the nicest field centers for your favorite archetype. Thank you, guys. And let's go ahead and continue with this video. All right, guys. So now getting into the deck profile, I would like to talk a little bit about how I'm actually not the most experienced Phantom Knight players out there. Uh, I barely really learn how to play the deck just to be able to memorize the combos and to be able to have enough fun to play the deck. Like I said, casually, I'm not really trying to get too competitive with it, but the deck is a lot of fun and it is super bonkers. So for the first thing, you got to play the three scales. I think three scales is more than mandatory. So if you're not playing three scales, you're actually not playing the deck right. Uh, and the ratios are going to be completely off. And now some of the other cards that I play, of course, you already know the two cloaks. And then the one card that I've seen a lot of people really go back and forth about in ratios has actually been boots. Uh, I'm playing boots at two. A lot of people have been telling me to play it at three. And it does make a lot of sense to play at three. But... <laughs> because I only have two, I'm only playing two. Um, but let's go ahead and continue for the last Phantom Knight monster in the deck. I play one gloves. I think gloves is actually super good and it's a really good extender. So if you open your hand busted enough to where you can actually just send gloves to the graveyard later on, instead of having to send either one of these three to the grave, you are more than likely going to have a really busted board and you're just going to go completely over the top. The one more important thing that I got to say is that this deck is... It's actually not the deck that struggles to play around Appaloosa that bad. Like, I mean, to play Appaloosa, to play around Nibiru that bad. Because you can definitely make Appaloosa and you can just definitely get over Nibiru like nothing. Uh, the other monsters you got to play are, of course, Graf and Seer to be able to combo off with the rest of the deck. Um, I play three tour guides. A lot of people have been telling me to maybe play two, but I just don't understand why. This is a card that helps you with your combo and gets you to where you need to get. Um... It's really good it's really busted and i just don't understand why to play two i think that three is definitely the way to go just like playing three come kagemucha knights kagemucha knight is actually really busted it helps you to chain block between tour guide and kamemucha so it'll be chain link one chain link two and you can you can chain block so like that you don't get ashed and just completely lose the game right we're gonna go ahead and continue these are most of the monsters you that you play for show skis i like <laughs> and more than like you know one of course there's gonna be a couple of the monsters that i play the only one being gloves and you know the ba monsters being one of each everything else of course two and threes but let's go ahead and continue there's a couple of monsters that i play one of you already know um <laughs> jackalope uh snakey boy wheeler and tracker um I think these are all great one ofs. I, I wouldn't play them at anything more than one. These being only being able to play, being able to be played at one. But then these, honestly, you don't really need them to be played more than one. Um, they're good, just one of. That's it. <laughs> just smack it on the field and continue with your day. Of course, you do play the Dragoon package in here. So, Dark Magician and Red Eyes. All right, guys. We'll continue with the rest of the monsters. Um, 
I think these are awesome good monsters and like I said just one of not necessarily needing to be played more than that uh three ash of course and three droll uh I recently sold three of my Italian drolls to my hero Ethan Nash and I kind of regret it <laughs> uh but three and three uh, i think these are great hand traps these are cards that are definitely going to be able to help you to make to make sure that you stop your opponent so they don't continue going off and then you getting destroyed but that is really it for all the monsters and these are the only six hand traps i play uh i've been working on probably trying to play two or two and two so then i thought i, I could still play six but then just playing two of each but then the other card that i would probably play if i want to replace to be two of each would probably be uh nibiru or bell one of those two of course rhoda and a monster reborn uh i like to be that one guy who plays 42 and doesn't ever play just that 40th card or 39 with upstart um not a huge fan of that that's just me myself and i though but i like playing reborn because it helps you to get monsters that you can probably not be able to monster reborn with your fog blades or whatnot right so this is actually really helpful uh, to Red Eyes Fusion because Red Eyes Fusion, I think it's more than necessary at two. And no matter the deck, uh, I think Fluffles will probably be the only deck that I would only play it at one. But every other deck will probably be a two of ratio for me. Uh, if I just so happen to go second, Dark Ruler no more. This is a go first deck, but just in case you lose the die roll, this is great. Call by the Grave to be able to stop that Ash, be able to stop that uh, Ghost Spell, or whatever you need to stop, right? Uh, of course, Emergency Teleport, and it has to be a foreign one, because I like playing foreigns. And then the Rank Up Magic being your last card, because yes, I do play the level 4 Requiem, the Rank 4 Requiem monster that turns into the Rank 5, of course. For the last couple of cards that I play, I do play I.O., I play the uh, Phantom Knight Sword, and then I play Phantom Knight's, uh, what is this, uh, Fan uh, Fog Blade? There you go. Uh, this is foreign, I'm sorry, I wouldn't even be able to read it. But yeah, you guys know I love my foreign cards, and I think that Fog Blade being as good as it is, um, I played Fog Blade at 3 and didn't play this, and it kind of hurt. I like to be able to dump this, banish this, special something back, be able to dump this as well, or have it, have it be discarded by my hand. Banish it, special something back, and then you just continue link climbing or continue doing what you need to do. But let's go ahead and get into the extra deck. Awesome. But for the extra deck, you guys already know, you got to play the Cherubini, of course. You got to play only one Phantom Knight Bardiche. I don't understand the two or people playing more than one. It's just not for me. Uh, I do play, I do play this guy. You already know, Breaksword, and I actually play Breaksword 2 of. Uh, I only really ever use one of it, but in case I ever need to have a second one, I have it right here. Uh, I play my Dark Rebellion. I also play Leviar, Redoer, and Requiem, uh, the Xyz level 5. Uh, I play Time Thief because in the side deck I do have the other trap card. I'm not gonna really get into the side deck, but I do have the other trap card in case I ever need it. And I know for sure I'm gonna go first, be able to set it, activate it, and then use it on my opponent's turn. This is a really good monster to play. I think he is really useful. Uh, after that, you already know you gotta play your Dragoon package because Dragoon is more than busted. Let me get this down here just a little bit so you guys can still see it. There you go. Great, awesome. Uh, Dragoon package, and then you got to play the Link Spider, Mascarena, Unicorn, and then for the last two that I play, like I said, I do play Appaloosa, but then I also play the level five. She is really busted. She gets she's gotten me out of a couple of situations already. Uh, a lot of people think that <laughs> if they hold their Dragoon Gate to where they actually need to use it to stop me, it would hurt a lot more, but I believe that. If you let me get monsters out on the field, and I have four of them already, <laughs> I have three of them at least, and then you have like a link two or something like that, or if you have the Dragoon, I get four of my monsters out, whatever I really need, I need to be able to get this out on the board to get this. Uh, it's actually kind of hard. Uh, I have to have, I have to have a link two at least, and two other monsters to make that have at least three monsters that are equal to level four or link four, and then their fifth, their fourth monster, <laughs> 
that I'm going to use, which is going to be the, the fifth number of my link summoning, whatever, it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's a good card. Uh, I've used it like twice already. It didn't really help as much as I did think that it might, but it got me out of a tight situation for a short amount of time. Uh, and that's honestly all we really need sometimes. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get into a small little combo. I'm going to show you guys what you need and then we can continue from there. Awesome. So honestly, you only need three throwaway cards, whatever you want them to be. And then you need two cards that are going to be your actual combo starters, which are both of these. Let's go ahead and start off with normal summoning tour guide, activating her effect. So chain one, chain two. Kagamucha will special summon the chain block and then use tour guide's effect to then special summon another monster, which is going to be your graph. You're going to go ahead and then let me adjust the, the table real quick. Awesome. Looks good. We're going to go ahead and then link this away. And we're going to go ahead and make our first monster, which is going to be Cherubini. Cherubini is actually a monster effect that is cost. So even if they want to Ash, Imperm, whatever they want to do, it's cost. So it's going to go ahead and send anyway. So it's going to be Cherubini. That's an activated effect too. So on summon, first thing you do is you're going to go ahead and activate your Graph. Graph will then special summon your Seer from your deck. Awesome. Then you're going to go Cherubini's effect to dump. And then you dump out, of course, your scales. Cool. So now you're chilling with a Kagamucha on the board, a Seer. And then you got your Cherubini. So to be able to continue from here, I normally just go link the Seer and the Cherubini into our Bardiche. And then activating Seer's effect on that summon to special back the Cherubini. Great. So now you have Seer, Graph, Phantom Knight. Into a guiding grave, Chirubini, Kagamucha, and of course, Bardish on board. From here, we're gonna go ahead and continue by then going Bardish's effect to send out your cloak. You're gonna send out your cloak and you set, of course, your rank up magic. Rank up magic is actually gonna be important because you're gonna need it later. You're gonna go ahead and banish your Phantom Knights. Uh, cloak, I'm sorry. Can you see it? There you go. Your Phantom Knight's cloak. Banish your cloak, and then you're going to go ahead and uh, add to your hand your boots. By then, on the resolution of your banish, your Phantom Knight skills is going to special summon. So, special. And then, on special summon, you're going to go ahead and activate this effect to dump out one of your throwaway cards. So, that's your first throwaway card. Cool. On that, you special summon your Phantom Knight uh, uh, boots from your hand, and you're gonna go ahead and then, you're gonna go ahead and then, great, I'm doing good, uh, exceeds both of these, Breaksword. Breaksword on summon will trigger Rusty Bardish. Bardish will destroy your Breaksword, and by doing that, you get to special back two of them to your Breaksword monster, to your Phantom Knight monsters from the grave as level force. You overlay both of these here, and you make your Requiem. Awesome. Cool. Here, there's a lot of things that you can still do. There's a lot of combos or whatnot or continuing things that you can do. I normally just go here, go Verde. And honestly, these are still through two throwaway cards that you haven't used, and you got Verde now, which will bring out your Dragoon. So now you really end on the most basic board, which can be Verde with Dragoon, Requiem, and Bardish. Bardish, set your continue, set your rank up magic. Your rank up magic was in. Bring out Homeboy, Dark Requiem, and uh, yeah. So now you have, I think this is three interruptions for your opponent's turn, and then you have both of these and this. Of course, you follow up play with this two cards in hand and they can be anything they need to be but yeah uh i think this is actually a really really good combo i actually like to do this and be as smooth as i can with it there's a lot of different ways that you can still end up on this board and get to this and there's of course a lot better boards i just wanted to show you guys something super basic super super something something super simple but i hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know if you guys have got any tips or pointers. This is a deck that I'm playing for fun, and I've actually been enjoying a lot. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Goodbye.
Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. This was your boy Ed from Lita Beach. But one question, have you guys joined our Facebook group? Have you guys joined the Lita Vegas Facebook group on Facebook? On Facebook? If you guys have not, make sure you guys go down to the description down below and click on our link to be able to join our group and get updates about when I upload a video, maybe updates about our giveaway, and then make sure that you guys are there just for the pure memes. There is mad memes getting posted there all the time. Besides, you know, the regular information you gotta get about Yu-Gi-Oh doing this and Yu-Gi-Oh doing that, you gotta get the memes. Also, don't forget to check out every single one of my... my Thank <laughs> you.